days of eager anticipation prior to this gargantuan clash, but now we need talk about it no more and instead focus on the here and now. A match that has the capacity to delight and dazzle no matter who you support. Two high-level sides ready to go at it. Live on EA TV. Hello everyone and welcome. Our footballing travels have taken us to the Midlands. We're at Villa Park. I'm Derek Ray and I'm joined for expert analysis by Stuart Robson. And we've got Premier League action coming right up. It's Aston Villa up against Manchester United. Well, Derek, as is always the case, the team that dominates midfield will be the team that controls the flow of the game. And that, for me, is the area that's key today. Look at Dinia. And here's the starting 11 for Aston Villa. Matty Cash plays with Luca Dinia in the fullback positions. John McGinn plays with Leon Bailey in the wide areas. And the story in attack is one of a strike partnership. And strong play here. Bailey. And defensive play to be applauded. And here's the lineup for Manchester United. Harry Maguire plays with Victor Lindelof in central defence. Scott McTominay starts. And in with a real chance. Well, he really tried to connect with it, but a long way off target. Well, Ten Hag senses a goal is coming here. It's just a case of being more clinical now. Well, you can't really argue with what they've done at home so far in the league, and they'll hope to continue that today, Stuart. Well, nine wins from ten games shows just how good they've been at home, and it's their fluidity of movement which has caused so many problems. That will be the case again today, I'm sure. You can almost see their opponents racking their brains. How do we stop this? McGinn. It's with Douglas Luiz. Excellent use of the ball as they make their way forward. Chance to put them in front. He needed to get there and did. And it's opening up. And it's in! 1-0. They've breached the defence. Well, I have to say, he's done really well here. He's in the right place and then a decent finish. That's a good goal. Well, that reaction shows you just how much that goal means to Unai Emery. What a moment for him. 1-0 then. Bubakar Kamara. Bailey. Will he finish? Oh, a challenge of the highest order. Bruno Fernandes has it. Pau Torres. Ollie Watkins. And a good challenge to bring that attack to an end. Diogo Dallo. And now back with the keeper. Maguire. It's with McTominay. Here's Luke Shaw. Likes to run with the ball at his feet, but really sticking to the task defensively. Bailey. Diaby. Will he find the net? He'll be breathing a sigh of relief. Ball one. Ooh. 
Lindelof. Diogo Dallo on the ball. Lindelof now. Maguire. Here's Luke Shaw. Sofian Amrabat. Well, the stoppage time situation. One minute here. And the first half is in the history books now. Away they go again. Second half is underway here. And teammates around him. Diaby and threading it through can they cover up cleared away comprehensively Bailey could be it's in they're looking really relaxed and confident and not giving the opposition much of a look in well what a team spirit this club has and that comes down to Unai Emery. What a celebration that is. Well, as you can see, the weight of the through ball is key to this goal, but he's still got so much work to do. Just look at the strength he shows to hold off the defender and still get his shot away. That's a really good finish. Well, he knows his team haven't been good enough in this game, but how does he change it? So 2-0 now. Anthony. To the owner of the blue vehicle, registration BG04 D0M. Cash. Please return to your vehicle with your flight. Thank you. DFB. Can he put it in? Oh, that is a wonderful piece of challenging. Watkins and with that the attack fizzles out Scott McTominay United might be able to cash in a corner will ensue and United will switch things around personnel wise Who can he pick out? Not away completely. Cuts it back. He's protecting it effectively. In the opinion of the referee, that is a penalty. Well, he's avoided a booking, but the complaints continue. And I can understand why. I think it's a poor foul. It should be a yellow card for me. This to pull one back. And he finds the net. No difficulties encountered. Well, let's look at this again. And it's always a risky penalty. When it comes off, it looks great. If it's saved, you look foolish. On this occasion, it's a great penalty. And the ball is moving again. Anyone's guess how this is going to finish? 2-1 currently. Bailey. Here's Matty Cash. Bubakar Kamara. It's with Douglas Luiz. It's with Kamara. Still ahead by a goal and moving the ball with purpose. Well, it's pass after pass, keeping their opponents thinking. Bailey. Well, that's how to keep the opposition at bay. A quarter of an hour remaining here.
Anthony Martial. Sofian Amrabat. Showing patience, looking for the equaliser. Well, they were very patient, but they no longer have the ball. Watkins. And do they mean business on this occasion? This could finish it! And in all likelihood, that is game over. So little time left for a response. Well, first of all, where's the defending? They're all over the place, but give him some credit. That's a good finish. Great composure. Well, Ten Hag knows that his team have been poor today, but he needs to find the solution. That's his job. So back underway, 3-1 the score. Bubakar Kamara. And just five minutes remaining. Fernandes. Can he get one back? That is a very fine challenge in difficult circumstances. Leon Bailey. It's with Camara. A message delivered from the referee to the fourth official. Three minutes on the board. Could be threatening. Martial. Big chance. It was on its way in. And that is that, the final whistle here, and maximum points picked up by Aston Villa. What did you make of it? Well, that performance...